Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Toilet Studios. I am your friendly neighborhood Starman. Welcome to my new installment of Seven Days to Die console. This is called, this series is called Get Serious. <laughs> Let me explain to you what, what this is, what, what I, what I mean by Get Serious. So, for the first time, I am playing on Warrior Difficulty. That's one thing about getting serious. I am on Warrior Difficulty for the first time. <clears throat> and let's see. And and the way I have it set, the zombies will run at night. So at nighttime, the zombies really do get serious, and and they will hit hard. So yep, their hitting power get, is get serious. Yep. And there's really no other stipulation. It's just you know, things around me are getting serious. You know the difficulty and wherever I am placed, I am in a random gen map. The seed is called Pacific Rim. I heard it's a pretty interesting seed, so I decided to give it to give it a shot for myself. So yeah, welcome to Pacific Rim, the seed, and my new Get Serious series. Time for me to get serious. So yep, like I said, I am playing on Warrior difficulty, so I will be taking a lot of damage from the zombies if I am not careful. All right, let's get started with these tutorials. Craft the bedroll. All right, as I wait for my bedroll to craft, I can just search this tree stump. I'm just gonna scrap this because it's a level three. It's not really gonna be much useful for me. Not useful, it's not useful to me right now. All right, let me move this stuff. Let me move this stuff over here to, into the backpack because I really don't need, I don't need it out here. Place this, pick it up. All right, now I need to punch some wood. Well, let this be a habit if we wind up in a zombie apocalypse and all we have now we got to do is just punch grass and punch trees to get some resources until we start building tools for ourselves all right now I need to find me some small stones oh look at me so thank you guys you know for popping in and watching this series we're gonna have a, we're gonna have an interesting good time with this series <laughs> yep we're gonna get time for me to get serious and as long as ev and as well as everything else in the game, the game is also going to get serious with me. And there, there, and what the game wants to challenge me. And now I got to put myself to the test as well. I believe I'm ready for this difficulty. You know, warrior. I believe I am ready. I definitely want to. Definitely want to. Be be a good experience seven days to die player, because I really do enjoy the game. And I, and yeah, let me see. Let's grab our stone axe. I I really I I've, I've got plenty of experience, so I'm like I believe it's time I up the ante when it comes to playing the game and starting a new game mode and increasing the difficulty. So yep, I believe that time has come. So and and thus and thus created the series called Get Serious. All right, no other stipulation. It's just going to be casual gameplay and. I believe I'm going to have this series up and running for a long time, you know, uploading about two episodes a week. So that way you guys can enjoy some good 7 Days to Die content. And and I'd like to give a shout out to Spartan85 for the inspiration. He is a very experienced console 7 Days to Die player and, and because of him I learned how to get better at the game. I learned a lot of things from Spartan85 so I can't thank him enough for, for, his, for, for, his, for his great work and and inspiration. So Spartan85, shout outs to you, bro. You're amazing. And now let's now that I got some plant fires, time to make some clothing. Need to get my character clothing. So I'm so I'm going with my usual character, you know, my brand mascot, Starling. Alright, so let's get these. What have I crafted? Oh, I just need the shirt. Alright. So let's put these on. Let's get Starling clothed with nothing but fiber until we find some actual clothing. I'm gonna go with my preferred fashion souls. All right, now let's go. Let's go harvest some rocks. Let's go harvest some stone. And and look at this. I can't believe I spawned right by a trader. I spawned right by a trader. <laughs> wow, I can't believe that. This is something you don't see every day. You you spawn into the map for the first time, and you and the trader is just right there within footsteps. Okay, 
<laughs> now I just need to find a place to call home. So right and so and right where the trader is. <laughs> All right, let's go gather some stone and make myself a bow, and I can go grab some feathers. Whoa, and I, and we have our first zombie of the of the game, and that would be Lulu. Judging from the way she's dressed, I believe she belongs to the streets. We'll see if I'm right. I have to use a club now, but I gotta be careful though because the zombies will hit me hard at this difficulty. And I'm stuck with the level one club for right now. Gotcha. She belongs to the street. First zombie of the day. I will take the sham sandwiches. And there will be uh, there will be use for emergencies only if I have no food. All right, let's get let's get some stone here. Well, so much for so much for my stone axe. Let's make another one. All right. All right, and now let's make some arrow. Let's make arrows first, and then the bow. All right, thirty-two. You know what? I'll make thirty. I'll make thirty. And so that I need to leave myself enough so I can make a bow. Put that in. And we're gonna get ourselves a deer. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait a while because my arrows are crafting first, and then, then my bow will be will be crafting. While I wait for my arrows to craft, I can just hack away at the stone. Alright, my bow's done. Look at that, level 20 already. Alright, load him up. Let's see if we can hit that deer. Come on, stand still for me. One shot, one kill! <laughs> one shot, one kill. I'll take that. And where's the guts? Where did the guts go? Oh, up here? <laughs> wow, that was weird. I need the I need the large bone so I can make a bone knife, a bone shiv. There we go. Put that in the hot bar. All right. So let me finish this rock, and then we'll then we'll then we'll make our next move. All right. Let me scrap this so we can get some raw iron. And I'm gonna scrap this wooden club and make a better make make a better wooden club to match with the current level of this one. All right. Okay. So now I all right now now let's go make our wood frames. Let's get these tutorials out of the way first. And upgrading. There we go. All right, and finally the campfire. There we go. Have to wait for the quest update in order for me to get started. Uh oh, I got company. No, it's probably from farther away. But I got the campfire made. Let's get this out of the way. All right, we got it. We got it, and now we should go visit the trader. And I have to mark it on my map. Let's see. Okay, it should be clear so I can mark the trader on my map. Let's mark the trader on our map, and let's also mark Hub City on the map too. That way we'll, we'll know where it is, where and where to avoid going. Okay, Hub City's right there. About east northeast from where we're, from where we are. I marked it on my map. All right, now let's go visit the trader to get this quest out of the way. We got all the quests out of the way so quickly. All right. Ooh, nice. I got a couple eggs. All right. Let's see who the trader is. All right. Who's the traitor? Oh, it's wrecked. 
out of all traitors, it had to be wrecked. It had to be wrecked. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to talk to him right now, because I have nothing to sell. And you know how traitor wrecked is, he's always rude. So, he's not worth my time right now. Until I have something to sell. Let's search, let's search around his place. Nothing here? Let's see. He's already got a cement mixer and a, and a working workbench. If I if I need something, and I need to find a peel, I need to find a little house to call it to spend the night in. Inside the sink? Nope. Oven? Ooh, nice, a cooking pot. Oh yes, very nice. Glass jars. Bottle of water. All right. I cannot pick up the chair because it's not because I'm in some because it's in this property. Can I get some clothes? Hmm, overalls. I can scrap these, take these, and repair the overalls. This also gives me XP. This also gives me XP for tailoring. Hmm, and skull cap, I'll just scrap that. Huh, cowboy hat, but it does take leather to repair, but I'll take it. And nerdy glasses. We'll put these. We'll put those on. In the, we'll put these fashion soles on in the meantime. I'll scrap the hood. Let's see this one. Nope. Okay, that's all the lockers. All right. Wonder what's up here. The bed. Nothing. All right. So here we are at the catwalk. Okay. I'm carrying raw meat on me right now. But I'm gonna go find. I'd rather. I'd rather go find a place to to settle down, and then I could cook my food. I'll scrap these two. Get plenty of iron. Alright. I'm, I'm not worried about the corn right now, so I'm gonna leave him there. Alright. So now we got Trader wrecked on... marked on the map. Now, we need to find ourselves a place to live. Alright, let's... let's go. After I search this nest for... more feathers. Alright. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna loot as much feathers till I complete a full stack of 250 feathers, and then I'll be good from there. All right. And look, and here's a here's a path. Let's see if it'll lead me to a house. Let's search this sedan. Huh? All of all, just a couple of nails. Scrap those. Let's go this way first. Let's go this way. Hmm. I might as well grab this golden round flower so I can. Make some goldenrod tea. Get plenty of them because I want to convert them into seeds so that I can grow my own. Plant a garden in the future. Goldenrod. It's quite a. It's quite steep. It's quite steep. All right. All right. We should be okay with this for right now. So it's it's a steep way down, but. You know, let's go. Let's take the other road then. Oh, there's a pig. Can I get some bacon sandwiches? Oh, he moved. Can I get a bacon sandwich? Ah! Just hold still, piggy. Gotcha. One shot, one kill. Gets it, time for some bacon sandwiches. All right, and another thing I learned is I can nerd craft some extra bone shivs if I if I feel like I've got more than enough bones in my inventory. All right, and I see another pig, and I did not realize I can I also hit harder too. That I am able to wedge shot animals with the with the stone arrow. All right, and. Well, down the road, we ha Oh, there's Garvey. There's Garvey standing in my way. I'm g I've done messed up. <laughs> now I'll finish you off. <laughs> you done messed up, A.A. Ron! Alright, grab the lead. Who else is near? I heard, s I heard more growling. Or bickering.
Okay, where are you? Where are you coming from? Oh, it's a crawler. It's Crawler Dan here. Crawler Dan. Ah. I'm not gonna use my club yet. Gotcha. Crawler Dan goes down. Scrap the nails, I'll take the glue. And I should have some cloth to make some duct tape. Yep, gotta get my blade skills up, so... And it's by chopping, chopping up carcasses. That's how it works. Inside this pile of trash... Oh, I'll take the pipes. Don't mind if I do. Alright. Now then. Okay. Now let's hope we can find a, a house to call, to spend the night in. Make like a make our set up our first little base. Can I get some honey? Ooh, a 464 shirt. You know, you know what? I'm going to repair this and put it on. A and I'll put on the overalls too. No, now we just need a good, decent pair of shoes. A, a pair of shoes or boots. Alright, let's follow this road. Let's see if it'll lead to a house or something. Paper, glue, oh yeah. Let's make some duct tape. Let's make some duct tape with the glue I got and the cloth. I can make two units. And with the cotton, and I can make a cloth fragment with the two units of cotton I picked up. Which I don't remember how. Inside this car. Hmm. Scrap. Plastic. Alright. And. Oh. Hey, I like that house. And, and to think, it's, it's right close to the trader. You know what? I'll make that my home. Why not? Can I get some honey? Nope. But these bandages will do, and and some can, and some and some can can Sam, can Sham. Oh, there's a bear. Oh my gosh! You know when it comes to me and bears. Oh hell no! Yeah, that's right. Oh hell no! But now, if I want this place to myself, I need to clear out these unwanted pe these unwanted guests. So, we're gonna have to deal with these zombies. And Carl is, for, is first to step up to the plate. And now we got... And now we got Nurse Sally. Nurse Sally, and there's Garvey. And Mo. Uh-oh. Now they're they're all drawn in by the raw meat I'm carrying. Uh-oh. Another, we got another nurse here. Okay, line them up, and then knock them down one by one as they approach. Not exactly a headshot, but I'll take that. Oh, that was a head smash. Now that was a smash hit right there. Ugh. Garvey goes down. Alright. Keep my distance, because I got these three are here. I'm out of arrows. No time to no time to make more. I'll have to use my club then. Ugh. Got nurse. Got nurse. Don't want to deal with that bear yet. Don't want to get too close to the bear. Let's deal with Mo here. Ugh. Mo's very tanky. Ugh. And I gotta watch my stamina too. Man, how many hits do you take, Mo? Uh oh, Mo's back up. Oh, how did I get hit? How did that even hit me? Oh, this is not good. This is not good. My stamina is ran down. Yeah, see, see, see how much damage one hit did to me. Yeah, it's down to seventy-two. And, oh, there's another Mo up there! Ugh, this is getting ridiculous. 
Oh, oh, finally Mo goes down. Mo is very tanky. I'll heal myself after this one. Ugh. All right. If I can get some distance, I can craft some. I'll craft some arrows, and then we'll deal with Mo here. I'll grab. I'll, I'll craft whatever I can create right now. All right. Let them pile up. Ugh, finally this mo goes down. All right, I'll I'll see if I can loot the carcasses after death. And now now another nurse Lisa comes in. Man. All right, and now and now you got Barbara here too. Man, how many how many of you guys are there? Gotcha! Finally! Huh, finally! Man, that was annoying. That was so annoying. Huh. Okay. Let's loot this one, and then we'll clean up the- let's clean up the mess. Let's clean up the mess. Got a bone shiv on me. Alright, I'm keeping my eyes out for that bear. Okay, that's done. Let's make sure we got everything clear. We got all the zombies here. So that we can claim this place as our own. I can fix this place up. Sure. Alright. Inside. Inside. Hey, we got a working forge here. Sweet. Now let's make a door. That way I can put my door here. I'll put my door right here. There we go. Alright, now let's break down that other door and so I can put my door. Alright. There we go. All right, this place is perfect. I can fix this up. I can fix this up for sure. And now I am going time to claim this my home. All right, let's clean this up so I can put a campfire in and the cookie so I can use the cookie pot. Ah, I need another stone axe. Are you kidding me? I am short on stone. Are, I am short on stone. Just two pieces short on stone. Seriously. But not for long. I found my five stone. All right. Got our stone axe. All right, and and what's even better is the trader is just a few. It's just a few. It's just a, a short distance away. I gotta get more. I gotta get more stone. So I need a rock to pound. I need a rock to pound. Let's see here. It's not that far, but I gotta. But I know there's gonna. I know there's gonna be that bear. I know there's that bear over there. But once I'm settled in. And I'm in good position. I'm taking that thing down. There's a time and place for everything. And I'm taking down that bear. And it's not right now. Nope. No honey. Ah, okay. That should be that should be plenty of stone. Let's get a campfire. Uh I may have to I may have to do some stuff. In fact, let's scrap let's scrap this raw iron. There we go. That makes some that makes room for my campfire. Alright. Alright. So much so much brainstorming to do on designing how my how my how my home's going to be. I'm gonna make this my home for 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 get for the get serious series. Alright, we'll put the campfire here. Let's put the cooking pot. 
I'm gonna put. I can. I only. I only need one. So put that there, and I can make bacon and eggs. I can make bacon and eggs with what I got. Ah, silly me. I need fuel. There we go. We got a campfire rolling. All right. I accidentally made a stone shovel. <laughs> All right. Now before I start searching everything else, let's put it. Let's put a storage. Let's put a storage chest here. And actually, first. I need to mark this as my save point, as my spawn point. So I'll put my bedroll right down here. I'll put my bedroll down here. So now I have a spawn point, and let's make a secure storage chest. I'm going to place it down here so I don't have to keep running up and down the stairs if I need something. It's only a temporary storage chest. In the meantime, let me store all this stuff. <clears throat> all right. Now that I've emptied my stuff, I think my bacon and eggs are done. So I can just turn this off. And we'll wait till I'm hungry before I start eating the bacon and eggs. Alright, let's search this. Nope. Let's let, let's loot this place. And as I go, I can patch these up. Oh, I need to I need to grab I need to grab my wood. Okay, search this. Nope. Nope. Glass jars. Nope. Glass jars. Scrap. Nothing. Nope. Nope. Nitrate powder, nice. Nope. Glass jars. And what's in here? To the toilet? Ooh, toilet water. And nothing in the medicine cabinet. Alright. Let's 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 store let's store these in here. Okay. Now there's a there's a desk to search upstairs. Hmm. A black puffer coat. That should be in case, in case the in case the temperature drops on me. All right. Ooh, nice. I gained a level. Currently level three. All right. Scrap these for the free wood. I'll go ahead and break down this. I have no use for this. All right. So I'll store this in here. Hmm. Yep. I'm gonna def definitely. This place is definitely my new home. To think, we found a trader so quickly, as soon as we spawned in, and now we find a place to call home, here on day one. Now, it's almost dark, so the zombies will start running. They will get serious for when, that, for when nightfall arrives. So, I gotta start patching these windows up. Alright. Well, I still can. I have to grab some resources in order to do some nerd crafting off camera. Grab this. Oh, that's it for this stone axe. Time to scrap that. And I better get my fibers. And and I know where and we're, and I know where to get some clay soil because it's just not that far, which is even better. All right, we're gonna try we're gonna try and get as much resources as we can: stone, wood, and fiber, before nightfall, and then we're gonna we're gonna call it an episode. Now, just to ensure my safety. I will have a wooden hatch ready if I get any visitors. Let's let's see. Okay, good. It should open it should open where I need it to be. All right. And let's make sure my the hatch is also upgraded. There we go. Board it up. Let's see if I have time to get a little bit more wood. All right. No time for bacon sandwiches cuz it's about to be nightfall. All right. Let's 
Let's close up. Door close, hatch up, and we're ready to we're now we're now we're about to spend a night here. Alright, it is now officially nightfall, and the zombies will now get serious. They are now gonna be running. They're not gonna be running. Alright. I'm also I'm gonna make some boiled meat. I'm gonna make some boiled meat too. All right, let's let's make some boiled meat because I do have. I'm gonna because I'm gonna. I'll be. I don't mind using up some water water bottle bottled water. Put that back in there. All right. So now this is where I start some. I start doing some nerf crafting. And now let's go ahead and make some plenty of arrows. I think about fifty should help me out. We'll make fifty arrows. All right, and let's see the murky water and bones. I can make glue. We're gonna make glue with this. All right, gonna make three because I need to, I need some bone shivs to nerf craft me some more bone shivs. So yeah, guys, <laughs> what a what a good start for day one. We did find we found we found the trader right off the bat as soon as we started. And <laughs> and now we found ourselves a place to call home. And 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 with the trader being just a walk away, even though it had to be trader wrecked. And I decided to use the first aid bandage so that I can get some health back. I'm just gonna use one, and then and then I'll start eating the food. I'll start eating the food in order to in order to get some health back to make up for it. All right, my arrows are done. So now let me go ahead and make make a bow. Oh, I have to get the fire. I have to get my wooden fiber. And I can scrap this bow. And that gives me a level 69 bow. All right. And now we need to get a new club. And And with and with this much iron, we can make an iron reinforced club. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The food's done. Oh yeah, I have a forge. All right, let's get the reinforced club here. And oh yes, I need to get some wood to power this to power the to power this furnace. And that's done. All right, let's grab these. Grab these, put these in there because I don't want to draw any zombies. All right, now I'm gonna take this stack of iron. I'm gonna take this stack of iron and smelt it in here, and that way we can get we can start get we can start making an anvil and get and get something going. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night here. Well, call it an episode. So yep. And on the morning of day two, we're going to see what we're going to do. Perhaps go out and see what, what other POIs we can find and do some looting and also do some resource gathering. So anyways, guys, if you enjoy... Yep, hope you guys enjoy my new Get Serious series. Because we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have a good time. <laughs> Alright, guys, don't forget to click this, click the thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. It really does help the channel out. If you are new to the channel, if or if you do love my content and would love to support me, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell notification to stay up to date on all my latest activities. You've been meaning to tell me you've been watching my videos and you're not subscribed? Hit the subscribe button! <laughs> you don't want to miss out on some of the amazing content I have to offer. Trust me, your time will be worth it. I do have a Discord server that you are more than welcome to join. The link is in the description box if you'd like to connect with me and my Starman fam. I post updates there as well, and I sometimes have some community streams for you guys. I do have a merch store over at the Galaxy Hound website. The link is also in the description box if you'd like to browse through some Starman apparel. I would love to see you guys fly my flag. Now, if you would like to support me more personally, you can become a YouTube channel member just by clicking the join button next to the subscribe. YouTube channel members will have will get a special badge next to the screen name, and you, you'll you'll be able to see your name at the end screens of each of my videos. 
Let's see. And you also have access to my custom emotes for my video premieres and live streams here on YouTube. Now, and I do have a higher level tier perk for, for YouTube channel, a higher level channel member perk, and that is early access to my latest videos up to one week in advance, and and, and I'll even have some special content for the higher higher level tier, higher level perks, or higher level channel members. Thank you guys so much for all the love and the support you have given me. It really does mean a lot. You guys are so amazing. And, and I'll be back with the next episode of Get Serious, and we're definitely going to have a good time. Anyways, remember, rise up, be blessed, and smile.